G'day guys, welcome back to True Footy for this week's edition, the round 19 edition of our game day squad update. Now, of course, if you haven't joined the game day squad competition on True Footy, make sure you do that with the link in the description of this video. We've got about 133 members at the moment. It'd be great to bump up those numbers. It's a great alternative to AFL Fantasy and Supercoach that, as you should know by now, I absolutely love playing and have done so every week. It's completely taken over as my preferred fantasy competition, and we're trying to bump up the numbers of the True Footy League. It's never too late to join the season. We're going to be continuing this year on year. And the good thing is now, the earlier you get in to start building your team, the better your team will be next year because you carry the players through. So in today's video, what we're going to do is go through how my team went on the weekend. I had a much improved squad and probably it's probably the best squad that I've had so far in terms of balance. I'm going to review how everyone went. We're going to open some packs and I've got a player on the transfer market that I'm going to purchase to round out my team. And I feel like once I get this guy, I've genuinely got one of the better teams in the comp. That's arrogant, I know, it's ridiculous. But I'm sitting 12th at the moment, um, and you know, the, the more I do right now, the better my team will be for next season, even if I don't win this year's competition. So as you can see here, this is the total leadership board. Leadership board, uh, I'm sitting down in 12th. Peanut Butters is still leading the competition of the capped league, but we can go and have a look at the uncapped league, and that is Marto's Magicians with 45,000 points. Boy, oh boy. I am, because my team's in the cap league, I can't really compete with that. I had a pretty good round though. This is now round 18's leaderboard that you're looking at and I came ninth. So anytime I'm in the top 10, I'm creeping up the leaderboard. I'm happy with that. Over 2,000 points is a good result. Uh, Peanut Butters obviously won this round and in the uncapped league, we can have a look and it was Mardo's Magician. Surprise, surprise. We'll quickly review my squad at the moment. So 20, 000, uh, 2,074 points uh, must be probably not the best I've ever done, but it's getting there. It's getting there. I want to be hitting two twos and two threes eventually. Um, I've currently spent 100% of my budget. Let's ha have a look at how my team went. So one thing I've started to do is started to get more balance um, across my squad in terms of like golds and silvers. Um, but for, you know, I've got a very golden forward line. That's a pun because Errol Goulden is in this team. Uh, but as you can see, you got a lot more silvers, which I think has given me a bit more bang for buck. That back line did really well. Caleb Daniel kind of let me down a little bit with 92. Being gold, that's not great. What did he score in actuality? It would have been 77. So yeah, quiet game from Daniel, uh, but that's all right. Nicky Dacos still played well. Newman had a good game. Duggan, Ryan, and Sicily. So Sicily was the other one who had a quiet game uh, in his first game back in a while, which I suppose can't really blame him for, but that is a pretty stacked back line. Even my bench option in Tom Stewart's good. The midfield mistake that I made in this game was Tom Mitchell. He started the game as sub, uh, which I missed, which is dumb. Um, I could have had Trelaw on the field for 117. Lockie Neal had a quiet game as well, uh, but we've got Laird had a really good game with 143. And the two Gold Coast boys in Aral and Miller, uh, unsurprisingly, were good. Tim English was a monster this week. He had 60 hit outs. That's absolutely huge. Uh, what else he get? He had 10 clearances. I know that. Three, freeze four. That helps. The forward line continues to plague me a little bit, but they had a solid week. You know, Errol Goulden is just unbelievably consistent in general now. Mitch Owens was fine. Uh, Connor Rosie had a big game. Jeremy Cameron, uh, even though he kind of wasn't crash hot in his first game back, kicked just the one goal, but still 90 points for a bronze player. I'm pretty happy with that. Josh Rochelle was the disappointing one. And of course, if you've seen the news, he's been suspended. So I need to replace him in my team. But like I said, I've got this target that I'm gonna buy in this video to replace him and my team will be shit hot. Before we buy my player that I have in my crosshairs, uh, we've got some starter packs to open uh, and I think that I might've missed this last week and therefore I've got two sets of packs to open. So I've got six players, uh, unfortunately none of them forwards, which is just, just the way it goes sometimes. I really need forwards, I don't need rucks. I've got three rucks to open, two defenders and a midfielder, but it's always worth seeing what you get for free. So let's open them up and we'll see uh, which rucks we got. First up, we got Sam Draper. Okay, maybe a good long-term one. The second ruck we got is uh, Riley O'Brien. I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. He's a, a good, solid, dependable option if one of my main two guys gets injured. And finally, Pitney. I've already got Pitney, so that sucks. And now for the defenders. Let's see who we've got here. I could always use another defender. Scrimshaw, okay, yeah. You know what, pretty sure I already got him. And finally, the next defender is Blake Akers. As a defender, interesting. Eh, could be interesting. Probably not gonna crack my team, as you know that I've got a very good backline now. Oops, sorry, that was my midfield pack, not a defender, I'm, I don't know what I'm on about. We got a defender here, and that is going to be Jarman Impey. I think I've already got him as well. So yeah, didn't get too much from the free packs in this video, unfortunately. But I've done some pre-research for this video, guys. Put a bit of money in my account and I have got a particular target that is going to be a long-term player. 
and he's also really good right now. And you can get him as a forward. He's arguably the best forward in the game right now in terms of fantasy because he is a midfielder and I'm talking about Tim Taranto. So what you do is you go to the market like a little piggy and you search for Tim Taranto. Actually, I'll show you a better way to do it. What you can do is you go to transfer market, you search by uh, position. I want him to be a forward. I want it to be ordered by average score. And then I didn't really want to buy a platinum Taranto. You can set it by um, you know, the rarity here. So you, let's say if you choose silver, then you actually get asking prices for them. So Taranto's there, uh, as is Errol Golden, and I don't need Golden again, um, but you can search by gold as well, and you can see the asking prices for all these players. So as you can see, like 35 bucks. I'm gonna go for silver because uh, it is a nice medium option to go for. And if you scroll down to the bottom, actually I couldn't find it. So I searched for Taranto and I saw this earlier. Tim Taranto here is going for $10. That is the cheapest silver Tim Taranto Taranto on the market and I've put enough money in my account that I am going to grab him because I think this is a safe bet. Tim Taranto is going to be a good game day scorer, you know, probably for the rest of his career. And how old is he? Like 26? Probably younger than that, to be honest. Uh, and he's having a great season, brown low chance. Um, and if you get him as a forward, that's an amazing bonus. So I'm going to pull the trigger on Tim Taranto. So what we're going to do to finish off this video is just see if I can improve my best 22. And uh, you'd think that I probably can because I am going to be replacing Josh Rochelle with the brand new and shiny silver Tim Taranto. Let's get him into the squad. There you go. So Tim Taranto's average is 151.3. Immediately makes my side better. I needed to improve my forward line. He's probably going to be the only single target that I buy in one hit. Um, maybe for the rest of the season, we'll see. But if you scroll up to here as well, I'm now under the salary cap again. So let's just see if I can improve my squad at all. Who's in reserve down here? Clayton Oliver, I'll hold fire for a little bit because he is still injured, but I believe. I don't think he's uh, going to be coming in this particular week. I think he's still a little bit off. But look at the Dan Houston. Look at Dan Houston, 232 he scored. And I put him out of my side and I've got him in platinum. I wonder if I can now afford him if I replace Caleb Daniel with him. Give us Dan Houston into the squad. Do I? I stay on the salary cap. Dan Houston's back on my squad and I've got a silver Tim Taranto. This has been a big video. This has been real good. This gives me a sneaky chance to climb into the top 10, I reckon, guys. So let me know in the comments uh, what you think of these moves. I'm investing in my team now so that next year it's all a little bit easier. As always, guys, I welcome your tips and thoughts, etc. cetera. Uh, let me know how your team is going. Make sure we get stuck in. You know, I've decided to invest a little bit of money into my team because I'm in a position to, but there's no pressure to do that because as you know, there are free packs every week and you can build your squad. It may take a little bit longer, but you'll still get there. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching the content. I hope you're enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and uh, make sure you check out Game Day Squad. Just join the competition. Be much appreciated and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.